Hi, in this lesson, we'll use this example to understand how to solve radical equations using conjugate radicals. Now, this example says the root of x plus 7 minus the root of x minus 5 is equals to 2. The first question is, what is the conjugate of this expression? Now, let's call the conjugate of this ex expression p. I'll call it p. That's p is equals to the root of x plus 7 plus the root of x minus 5. In case you missed a lesson on how to express conjugates, I will attach a link in the description where we explain how to come up with conjugates for sorts. Now, if p is equals to x plus 7 plus the root of x minus 5, let's multiply both sides. We'll be multiplying, we'll multiply both sides, we'll multiply both sides with p. So that I'll be saying the root of x plus 7 minus the root of x minus 5 into the root of x plus 7 plus the root of x minus 5 will be equals to 2p. That is, I've multiplied both sides with this same expression. p. Remember, p is equals to the root of x plus 7 plus the root of x minus 5. Now, look at it this way. Remember this expression. X, if I say x plus y into x minus y is equals to x squared minus y squared. How come? Let me explain. Now, this is x multiplies x here. Yeah? x again multiply x minus y. It becomes x squared. x multiplying x is x squared. x multiplying minus y, that's minus x y. y now plus y multiplies x, that becomes plus x y plus y again multiplies minus y becomes minus y squared so that minus xy plus xy becomes zero and my expression is always given as x squared minus y squared now we're going to use the same idea in here because the root of x plus 7 minus the root of x minus 5 is multiplying the root of x plus 7 plus the root of x minus 5 so this is obviously going to become the root of x plus 7 all squared minus the root of x minus 5 all squared, which is equals to 2p. Now, the root of x minus 5, x plus 7, that's equals to all squared, that will be x plus 7 minus, let's say, the root of x minus 5, that's minus x minus 5, is equals to 2p. Then I can conclude that x plus 7 minus x. Now, minus times minus here becomes plus 5 is equal to 2p. So that x minus x becomes 0. And 7 plus 5, that's 12, is equal to 2p. Now, if 12 is equal to 2p, obviously, my p is equal to 6. Now, we've gotten that p is equals to 6. Remember at the beginning that we said that p is equals to x plus 7 plus x minus 5. That implies that p is equals to 6 and is equals to the square root of x plus 7 plus the root of x minus 5. Let's call this equation 2 while I'll call this my equation 1. This equation 2 here. So I can now add my equation 1 plus equation 2. Now that is the root of x plus 7 minus the root of x minus 5 is equals to 2. Now plus, here's the root of x plus 7 plus the root of x minus 5 is equals to 6. Now if I sum up these two equations, the root of minus x minus the root of x minus 5 plus the root of x minus 5 gives way, then I'm left with the root of x plus 7, that becomes 2, the root of x plus 7 is equals to 2 plus 6, that's what, 8. Now, I have a square root here. For me to remove this square root, I'll take the square of what? Of both sides. This becomes square, this becomes square. Obviously, 
the square root of this side becomes 2 square root, that's 4, into, that's, oh, this 6. 2 plus 6, that's 8. Now, that's 4 into the root of this, that's x plus 7, is equals to 8 raised to the power 2, that's 64. Now, if 8 raised to the power 2 is 64, divide both sides by 4. If I divide this side by 4, I'll divide this side also by what? By 4. 4 here is 1. 4 in 64. 4 in 6, that's 1. 4 in 24. 4 in 24, that's 6. That's 6. So that x plus 7 is equal to 16. If x plus 7 is equal to 16, that means x is equal to 16 minus 7. So, x now is equals to 9. Now, our x is equals to 9. You see, this is easier than the first method we used in the last lesson, using factorization method. Conjugate using conjugate is a little bit easier. And with conjugate, you can solve any radical equations. Now, let's test our results. Let's see if x is actually equals to 9. Our equation says the root of x plus 7 says the root of x plus 7 minus the root of x minus 5 is equals to 2. And we're saying that x is equals to 9. So if x is actually equals to 9, let's put x, the value of x as 9 in this equation. So that I'll have 9 plus 7 minus the root of 9 minus 5. So that's equals to the root of 9 plus 7, that's 16 minus the root of 9 minus 5, that's 4, which is equals to the root of 16 is 4, and the root of 4 is 2. 4 minus 2 is equals to 2. Thank you, and have a very lovely time.